Hey guys, and welcome back to another A level further maths revision video. And in this video here, we're going to take a look at some corpio revision, and we're going to take a look at how we derive, um, or how we show the results for integrating hyperbolic functions. So you don't need to be able to prove these results, but it does make it a lot easier in the exam um, to actually derive these results if you do need them. Okay, so let's just take a look at how we actually derive these results. And just like we saw with differentiation, so this is essentially a follow on from when we differentiated or derived the results for differentiating hyperbolic functions. We're going to do the same here and we start again by using the exponential definition for hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cosine. So we start with shine x, so shine x, um, let's get the right pen colour, so shine x here. Okay, so we start with the exponential definition. This is something that you do need to be able to remember, so this is e to the x minus e to the minus x all over 2. Okay, so that's hyperbolic sine. And then if we also write cosh x as well, so cosh x, well cosh x, that's e to the x plus e to the minus x all over 2. Okay, now we want to be able to find the integral. Okay, so what we're looking for here is if we integrate shine x, what do we get? Okay, if we integrate shine x with respect to x, what do we get? Well, the way to derive this result is like we just said, using the exponential definition. So we're integrating here, e to the x minus e to the minus x, all over two with respect to x. And what I'm gonna do here, just to make this a little bit easier, is I'm gonna split this quotient here up into two. So what I'd get then is the integral um, of e to the x over 2, so that's e to the x over 2, minus e to the minus x over 2. Okay, and this is with respect to x. And this becomes a lot more straightforward now to integrate, essentially just integrating the exponential function. So if we start here term by term, e to the x over 2, if we integrate that with respect to x, that just simply gives us the same result. We get e to the x over 2, so that's e to the x over 2. Okay. And this minus e to the minus x over 2, if we integrate that with respect to x, just got to be very careful here. This minus is also included here with this minus x, okay? So that becomes positive, okay? So we get plus e to the minus x all over 2, okay? So this minus e to the minus x over 2 becomes positive. So that's e to the x over 2 plus e to the minus x over 2, which we can write as e to the x plus e to the minus x all over 2. Now we just take a look now at our exponential definitions again. So it's either shine x or cosh x. And we can see here e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. This is cosh x. So if you integrate shine x with respect to x, you get cosh x. Okay? So that's cosh x. And because we have no limits on our integral, don't forget our constant of integration. So our plus c there. So that's how we derive the integral of shine x. Now what about if, we in, if we're integrating cosh x? Well, a similar result follows. So to integrate cosh x with respect to x, again, we just use the exponential definition here. So this is the integral then of e to the x plus e to the minus x all over two. Again, I'm gonna split this up here into two parts, so this, we can write this then as e to the x um, over 2 plus e to the minus x all over 2, okay, with respect to x. And again then, just integrating term by term here, this e to the x over 2, again, that just gives us e to the x over 2, that's e to the x over 2. We just have to be careful here, this plus e to the minus x over 2, well, this minus x here, we've got to be very careful with that, that turns this to negative. So that becomes minus e to the minus x all over 2. And again, we can write this over a common denominator as e to the x minus e to the minus x all over 2. Which again, if we take a look at our exponential definitions here, we can see that this is shine x. So if you integrate cosh x with respect to x, you get shine x okay and again we have no limits don't forget your 
concept of integration. And finally then, what about if we integrate hyperbolic tan? So what would we get here? Well, this result is the most straightforward of all of them. So in this case here, um, let's just change pen color just to illustrate that this is slightly different. So we don't actually need to use the exponential definition here. For hyperbolic tan, so tan x as I call it, how do we do this? Well, we just need to make use of the identity here. So we can write this as the integral of shine x over cosh x. Okay. Now here, this integral might not look, might, it might not look immediately obvious, but if you can notice that if we differentiate cosh x here, we get shine x, then we have a straightforward result. And that's by making use of the fact that the integral of f prime of x over f of x dx is equal to the natural logarithm of f of x. Okay? We're making use now of this result because if we differentiate cosh x, we get shine x. So we, we essentially have this here. So in that case then, this gives us the natural logarithm of our denominator here. This is our f of x. So f of x is cosh x. So this is the natural logarithm of cosh x here. Okay, so cosh x. And again, we have no limits on our integral. Um, so don't forget our constant of integration there, our plus c. Okay, so like you can see, the results are rather straightforward, and you actually get the same results as what you'd get for differentiating. So if you differentiate shine x, you get cosh x. If you differentiate cosh x, you get shine x. So it works for both shine x and cosh x, and you might find that easier to remember as well. And that's absolutely fine, but you might also find these results helpful um, in your exams or any assessments that you might do. So hopefully that's helped. Um, like we said, this was just to show how we derive these results. Um, like always, any issues, just leave a comment down below. Cheers. <laughs>